Hey there guys, so today I'll be showing you how to blur out objects, moving objects in Sony Vegas Pro and this goes for faces, um, just objects, image, objects, still images, uh, yeah all that good stuff. But this tutorial will show you how to just do the object and not using cookie cutter and how to take the blur out of the screen once your object is out of the way or yeah so what you do is you get your video and drag it into the video timeline and create a brand new video track so I'll just delete this one so you have two video tracks and one audio track if your camera has audio or whatever and if you have video and audio together then what you want to do is click on the audio and right click and go to group and remove from now this um, removes the video from the audio so you can move them separately now you can um, put them back together later on and I'll show you in that video but the reason why you're doing this is because you need to duplicate dupli duplicate this video track. So just go here, hit copy, and then go up here to your top um, video one and hit paste. Now move it in, um, to when it's in sync with your other video or else it won't be right. Now, now you can re-click the sound group and oh my control control the video and the sound together group create new so now they move in sync as you can see right there and then you have this video up here that moves by itself so I want to zoom in on that and then what you do is you find your object and then go to event pan crop and then once you get to event pan crop then you go down here to mask and check mark it so it is enabled and now you find you press your arrow keys on your keyboard frame by frame to see when your object comes into frame and when you want to blur it so say okay say I want my object right there oh okay, go, there we go. okay I want my object right there you go over here to anchor creation tool and click that and then you make a path around your video like an object line around your video and there you go it gets black around everything else and highlighted where you made your thing and then now you go right back down here to the timeline on the bottom and you keep doing your arrow keys so once your video is moving out of the frame the um, clear frame then you go to these square dots which are called anchor port points and it will highlight the whole um, this whole thing and then what you do oh yeah you go over here to normal edit tool and click on that and make sure there's nothing there nothing else to click on then you go over here and drag it to your video and then go back down here click on your timeline do the arrow keys again then you go over here make sure it's in line keys now once your video is I mean once your object is turning away from your um, your highlighted area you want to go over here to anchor creation tool and then um, right click one of your lines and then hit delete and then all 
so now your video is like that again and then you make a new mask around the object again and then it'll look like that again then you go over here down on the bottom again and keep doing this over and over again Okay, so now once you have completed um, masking your object, now you do not want your whole screen to be blurred out, so you just drag your, um, just you can just delete or keep your mask, but make sure you create a new one so it doesn't blur out everything. And you can just make a small one out here in the corner and that will make the blur out here and not in your frame it doesn't do anything to your dimensions or anything it's just it's just out so you don't have it anymore and that is how you mask it now you want to blur it so you want to go over here to video fx then you can go to chroma blur and bring it in I mean, not Chrome, but my, my, my bad. There's different things you can do and stuff. Um, you want to find Pixelate, or you can do Blur and stuff like that. I usually do Pixelate, but you can mess around with um, the Blur and uh, just stuff like that. So right here, I found Pixelate. And make sure you drag it onto the top one, like how you edited it. So your top one is your edited one and your bottom one is your main one that you did not mess with and go ahead and unclick and what you want to do is mess with your pixelization so as you can see over here my pixels are only horizontal so if I bring it in like this and make it bigger then you can't really tell what it is and you don't want to make it at one either because that won't work okay so I found um, the bigger pixelizations are better and right here you have um, just some um, presets to choose from but I just make my own half the time and now if you preview your video it shall follow the object and now your video has been successfully blurred out now as you notice you might have to adjust because some of the objects might show but that's just part of it so if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below or send me a message. Please like this video, subscribe, and yeah, that's it. Hopefully you successfully blurred your object, and everybody have a nice day.